Grafman, it's all in the numbers. The 101st running was his 23rd race behind the lens. 10 feet is how far he estimates he was from Scott Dixon's car when it hit the fence. For 14 years, Grafman has taken pictures in the South Short Shoot between turns one and two. Sunday started like any other race day in years past for the freelance photographer on assignment for the Indy Star until about a quarter of the way through the race. He impacts the wall. What you do is you look for little wiggles, little movement. And I saw car 77 uh, just do a little move. I knew he was in trouble. He focused his lens on Jay Howard. Within seconds, car nine with Scott Dixon behind the wheel entered the frame. As the car approached, I stayed with it um, up to the point of impact of the fence. The fence right in front of him. A ton of debris uh, was coming at me. And so I was using my arms and my hands to block my face and my body. And instinctively, you know, to drop. Never try to outrun a race car. Grafman twisted his back on the way down. A TV audience watched while medics took him to the infield care center. He was later taken to Methodist as a precaution. Was there for long enough to miss the race. The diagnosis is good. No broken bones, only bruises and scrapes. The last thing Grafman remembers is the hole in the fence in front of him. It was uh, intense. I loved it. <laughs> As for whether he'll be back next year? Absolutely. The